A couple of months ago, one of the most amazing and important structures in Los Angeles had an anniversary. And no, it wasn't a legendary movie studio or a celebrated concert hall. It was for a rail line. And there was no big party because most people don't even know it exists. That's because the 10-year-old Alameda Corridor was designed to be super efficient and mostly invisible. The result of a successful public-private partnership, the Alameda Corridor is a 20-mile long grade separated freight rail expressway that links the Port of Los Angeles directly to the transcontinental rail facilities east of downtown LA, a major rail hub to and from the entire country. It really was an amazing public works project. It took 20 years to plan and to fund and finance, but it was built in a little over four years, which is really incredible. Before the Alameda Corridor existed, trains had to slowly negotiate more than 200 at-grade street crossings on four low-speed branch lines. That was then. Today, trains travel at an average of 40 miles an hour along one of the three tracks in the corridor, speeding goods to market, reducing air emissions, and saving money for shippers. Truly a feat of engineering, the line centerpiece is the mid-corridor trench, 10 miles long, 33 feet deep and 50 feet wide. Down here, trains move directly to and from the Port of LA without interruption, right through the heart of one of America's largest cities. Built to accommodate the port's future growth, the Alameda Corridor is capable of carrying 150 trains a day. Since its opening 10 years ago, more than 150,000 trains have moved more than 20 million containers, a number that grows each and every day. You know, the shippers benefit from the reliability of service and the speed of the service. A big percentage of our cargo goes cross country, and this is what we call discretionary cargo. The, the reliable rail network for us is critical. The corridor provides that. Cargo that's destined for Chicago or somewhere in the, in the Midwest has to go by rail, and our shippers are looking for a reliable, fast, safe rail network, and the corridor provides probably one of the best opportunities for that to occur. Another reason for the efficiency is that the Alameda Corridor and the entire region is served by two of the nation's premier rail operators, BNSF Railway and Union Pacific. At the tender age of 10, the Alameda Corridor is really a youngster with many years of service in front of it and plenty of capacity to handle future cargo volumes. Well, more than half the cargo that comes through the ports is destined and comes from parts outside of the of Southern California region. So it was very important for the ports to have a facility that could move that cargo. And it now has that. They move 14 million a year now, and that's expected to grow to 44 million TEUs. There's no way we could triple the volumes like that without an Alameda car to move those trains in and out of the ports. When you look at the corridor, it was really built for the future. The corridor was designed to handle over 150 trains per day. So when you look at the ports and how we are positioning ourselves, we have a vision that we are going to maintain the number one gateway to the U.S. And the corridor is our lifeline to the rest of the nation. So how did the Alameda Corridor celebrate its 10-year anniversary? By doing what it does every day, laying low and speeding cargo quickly and cost-effectively to and from the port of L.A., just like it was designed to do.